you ready for this? As I'll ever be. As you'll ever be. Okay, let's do it. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Who wrote the phrase, no man is an island? John Dunn. John Milton. John F. Kennedy. John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi. Too easy. And, if I may say so, a complete load of bollocks. In my opinion, all men are islands. And what's more, now's the time to be one. This is an island age. A hundred years ago, for instance, you had to depend on other people. No one had TV or CDs or DVDs or videos or home espresso makers. As a matter of fact, they didn't have anything cool. Whereas now, you see, you can make yourself a little island paradise. With the right supplies and, more importantly, the right attitude, you can be sun-drenched, tropical, a magnet for young Swedish tourists. Hi, it's Christina. I haven't heard from you. I had a great time last weekend. So give me a call, OK? And I like to think that perhaps I'm that kind of island. I like to think I'm pretty cool. I like to think I'm Ibiza. There were people out there who had a good time in life. I was beginning to realise I wasn't one of them. I just didn't fit. I didn't fit at my old school. I definitely didn't fit at my new one. I heard that some kids got taught by their parents at home, but Mum couldn't do that unless I paid her to teach me, because it was just her and me. And she went to work. She made £400 a week. Where was I going to get that kind of money from? Maybe if I was like that movie kid, Hayley Joel Osment, I could pay her that much. But if that meant being good at drama, forget it. I was crap at drama, because I hated standing up in front of people. So basically, I had to go to school. The sad fact is that, like any island dweller, from time to time, I had to visit the mainland. 